I have a very special Bible that I want to show you guys. What this Bible does in its translation, I think every single English translation should have done. This is the New Jerusalem Version. This is basically a Cambridge Bible. It has the same calf split leather, and it has the same young blood printing that Cambridge uses. Now, here is the publisher, and uh, I'm not sure how to say that. And here you can see young blood printing. But calf split leather is leaps and bounds better than genuine leather. Now, I'm not sure if you're aware, but genuine leather, nine times out of ten, is pigskin. And I'm not sure how I feel about pigskin wrapping the Word of God. Now, let me show you guys the text. This is great paper, beautiful printing, beautiful fonts, beautiful layout. It is very minimal, but it's beautiful. It's wonderfully done. Now, let me show you guys an example of a, a text of what this Bible does in its translation that makes such a beautiful reading experience. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 it says, now concerning spiritual things, brothers, I do not want you to be ignorant. You know that when you were Gentiles, you were led away to those mute idols, however you were led. Therefore, I make known to you that no man speaking by the Ruach Elohim says Yeshua is accursed. And no one can say Yeshua is Lord except in the Ruach HaKodesh. I think it's beautiful, and every English translation should have done this, translated Jesus as Yeshua. That, I love reading Yeshua instead of Jesus. Now, another thing this Bible does is it brings honor to God's name, and it writes it in the original. Now, if you're unsure of what it means, don't, uh, don't be too worried, because in the back here, it has the words that it broke down, the glossary. The words that it, it, it chose to bring honor to within the text. So you could come find the name, and you could find the name uh, that God chose to reveal to the people of Israel in that passage. The Lord will provide. So it's just, this is a beautiful, and I, and I thought this at the end was... Uh, kind of funny that they did, but it shows that they really are bringing much honor uh, to the Bible. It says, don't place your Bible on the ground. Do not place other Bible, other items on top of your Bible. Do not bring your Bible into the bathroom. You know, I don't know if you're going on the toilet with your Bible, but uh, don't do that. Store your Bible in a dry place. And then it says, when making notes in your Bible, handle the sacred text carefully and with respect, or consider making your notes in a digital Bible format to preserve the holiness of your printed Bible, carrying the holy holy name of Adonai. This is this is a beautiful Bible, guys, and and I don't know of another translation that brings such honor uh, to the name of God and to the name of Jesus, Jesus Yeshua, and it also brings honor to the Spirit of God. And uh, so I think this is just a beautiful translation. I will put a link in the description below where you can check it out. You should order one. Just even if you don't use this translation or you have a preferred translation, this is a Bible that you should have and read from time to time just because of the name changes. And it'll force you to really read the names of God in the way that he chose to reveal himself in that passage. So be blessed, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.